so friends in this video we will be learning about fat rich dairy products see fat rich dairy products these are ghee and butter oil and anhydrous milk fat these are the three main fat rich dairy products we will be dealing with we mainly will be dealing with ghee only in this video okay but uh, to tell you about uh, that these can be further makkhan is also a fat rich dairy product but that is more relating to butter rather than uh, rather than ghee in this we will be mainly dealing with ghee fat rich products as such ghee okay it is very huge market and it is characterized by its typical flavor see this is by fssai uh, i was talking about anhydrous milk fat butter oil and ghee moisture content amf it contains 0.1 butter oil 0.4 ghee 0.5 similarly ffa limit has also been different for these products amf 0.3 butter oil 0.4 and ghee 3 okay so this was it see there are four different methods of ghee preparation the first is indigenous or desi method see this is what usually is being done at the domestic scale so usually companies do not go for this process why because this is very much time consuming but it is also important to say that but it is also important to say that ghee prepared using this method has very good or very liked flavor as compared to other methods okay uh, we will be dealing with now cream see direct cream creamery butter and pre-stratification these three methods they are used at the commercial scale and uh, among these three also creamery butter and pre-stratification these two are the most importantly being used direct cream is also not very much used in preparation of ghee okay now see in case of see fat rich or ghee it is simply concentration of fat along with heating these two important operations are there first fat concentration and second heat treatment both of them are important without if we remove these two any of these two step you cannot obtain ghee okay so this is for sure so we take milk centrifugal separation to obtain cream this cream can go for say 70 or 80 percent fat also but usually we get 40 to 50 generally for ghee making they go for 50 60 or rarely 60 70 usually 50 to 60 percent fat is there they go for they can go for 80 percent fat also but usually this is what is there that 50 to 60 percent fat is there they transfer it to ghee boiler ghee boiler in this case ghee boiler is a point where this heat treatment take place takes place okay see after transferring the content to ghee boiler heat treatment is there to uh, say the content are heat treated to 110 to 15 degree centigrade for 10 to 15 minutes once this heat treatment is provided the contents are clarified clarified means uh, see this cream it contain not only con it contains three important part first cream contains fat snf and moisture snf solid not fat so this heat after this heat treatment see uh, during this heat treatment moisture will be evaporated and the snf part uh, uh, and that ghee flavor development will be there okay so after the heat treatment we have fat or we have ghee and ghee residue this ghee residue is same as snf okay so clarification is to remove ghee residue from the fat part once the fat ghee residue is removed we obtain ghee so this is other part and this is other method creamery butter method uh, this is uh, uh, this is a modify uh, this is modification with respect to direct cream method see uh, here what is then cream is there then we age it and churn it fine to obtain white butter this white butter is there this is transferred to ghee boiler see it is melted and then transferred to ghee boiler okay so in the ghee boiler again the same say it could be one it is written 110 to 20 but it is usually done at 110 to 15 for 10 to 15 minutes that same heat treatment separation of ghee residue everything is same but the point is there we prepare white butter from cream and then we use it for ghee boiling okay the other is pre-stratification method this is a modification is in the creamery butter method see in this case what happens this is the same as like see up till here it is direct cream method then it is creamery butter method now after melting the cream melting the butter in mel melting what we go for stratification fine and after stratification the middle and top layer is collected and 
transferred to ghee boiler for the heat treatment okay so this is the modification there is a pictorial view see this is a white butter once it is stratified then we get a top scum this is of protein as well as phospholipids fine while well, this is the fat layer and this is the aqueous layer fine aqueous layer this contains snf as well as moisture so this is discarded and this two these three part this middle part and the top layer this is used for ghee making so this is transferred to the ghee boiler for clarification purpose fine so once the clarification is done ghee is obtained fine so this was all about uh, ghee preparation one important point is that see when we are comparing the three direct cream creamery butter and pre stratification method see creamery butter method and direct cream method both of them have got similar flavor but pre stratification method or the product obtained from pre stratification method it somewhat lacks in flavor this is because of lesser amount of serum part see we are dis, uh, dis we are removing or ignoring some of the serum part this serum part is responsible for the flavor development so obviously when less serum is there the resultant product will have less flavor again when we compare the three three methods for cost of preparation we will get to know that Highest, highest amount of moisture in raw material is in cream so obviously more amount of energy is required for moisture evaporation so highest amount of energy is required for ghee preparation when we prepare it from cream then from butter and least is required from pre stratification method okay so when flavor is concerned direct cream and creamery butter both of them have similar flavor but pre stratification has somewhat lesser flavor although it is not that high you may or may not be able to differentiate it fine but as far as energy is concerned pre stratification takes less energy as compared to creamery butter and creamery butter takes less energy as compared to direct cream method